Humble boys of the poorly played stream. What a Kevin. Transition Kevin. that one. Shut Kevin. it down. Kevin, shut it off. Um, we're here. Look at that. Rykov. Ooh, quick exchange of the drum magazine. Feed Check the belt. Out. Ooh, and he's ready for action. What a handsome guy. I'm gonna I'm gonna lighten that up while we're here. Lighten it up. Give it a little bit of a light. <laughs> Tell me what you think. If you like it, I'll darken it up. No, if you don't it, like it, I'll lighten it up. I think you definitely need to like it. It is a little dark. That's a little light now. I, I do want to mention, so for, those of the, for those of you who may not have noticed right away, this is the uh, PS2 version. This is Subsistence, not the HD collection. Yep. And I gotta say, man, this game is held up. I mean, in the HD collection, it looks incredible. But here, on the PS2, I'm hyped. Man, this game looks great. I'm hyped, folks, and we're live. 
post anime expo you know the voice it's a little hoarse a little rasp going on a little cqc action you got going yep. uh yeah as brian said king lord cam why don't you show this off yeah this uh Bri. this doesn't have as much uh, so here. right there you got metal gear solid 3 subsistence this is the ps2 disc you got some kind of plan yeah i do actually and uh we're gonna be playing a little uh collab they did with the Ape Escape folks, that's right. I can't believe we still have these laying around my house. Hey! But uh, I think we'll be getting to some more Metal Gear spin-off stuff. Maybe we'll skate the big shell in the future. Mei Ling. Uh, what? Naomi. Why? He says Naomi so quietly. Meryl. Monica. Do you have the sound clip of, um, of when... This keeps going to closer to my face, by the way. Yeah, that's But do right. you have the sound I clip? I wasn't looking. What's up? Uh, I know. That's why I told you. Uh, when... Campbell says, you got a PSG-1. No, I don't. That's like one of the best. My roommate, Andrew, walk around the house. And What's going I, on? I can get him to like laugh from any room in the house if I just go, whoa. And he'll go, what? That's right. You got a PSG-1, and he'll Colonel. just lose it. Colonel says that to you in MGS. In, in MGS one. Yep. Uh, when you get the PSG one, it's you know they're telling you about what the game is. Yeah, and, and they're uh, they're introducing you to the sniper yeah. rifle you're about to start using. Yeah, exactly. This, this is right before so the big sad. fight. So sad. Jack has to you know take her out. I don't want to get to that. I can't see that. You know, I get a little weepy. Uh, hey, uh, I mean I've said it before. The ending of this video game is is the first video game I ever like shed a tear at. Shedding uh, a tear. Absolutely. Uh, I forgot to hit. I forgot to update the. Uh, go ahead, Brian. Oh no, no worries. But um, but yeah, like this game. Even watching these cutscenes uh, as we were getting ready for this, uh, this game is just. I forget how good it is. It, and, like all the flashbacks and yeah. kind of discussion about it in Phantom Pain. You really learn a lot about God. what Metal Gear is in Metal Gear Solid Three, and I think yeah. that like those people who say to play Metal Gear out of order would actually be kind of correct. In terms of having it be digested the easiest way possible, I think if you start with as much information as possible, it's going to be really cool. Yeah, I wouldn't want people to play it out of order, But though. But here's here's my thing, and this is my argument. Um, let's see if we can make this... Uh, did you connect this through RCA, or is this through... Uh... No, we're doing HDMI output. Okay, let's see um... if we can get the options for, uh, for 16 by 9 I could do 16 by 9, but I tested it out earlier at oh, home, you did? and it didn't look good. It, ah. it, it kind of blurred, and I turned the PS3's like smoothing off ah, as bummer. well. All right, let's play. I, I tested both uh, versions, and it, this seemed to work uh, best. Dang. But uh, me and Brian were talking. Oh, I always hit fucking. It's X is back on these old ones. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to um, uh, start or circle. We were talking at Anime Expo about uh, playing the tanker uh, skate. Yeah. From Metal Gear 2. And then the snake versus uh, monkey, which is the ape escape tie-in. Yeah, which um, I didn't play a lot of actually. I think, I mean, I'm loading my original save that I had, you know, locally mm -hmm. on. We're, we're using a backwards compatible uh, launch PS3. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! OG PS. Uh, we got a nice little intro here. dragged out of the sack. Two in the morning. I did my best. Rise and shine. Don't you love morning? <laughs> ah, don't you love mornings? Something Fucking big is going down. Very big. I love how big That's they hype why. this up. All right. So yeah, what it's is an important this? mission. I'll say it once and only once. I am not taking out any Metal Gear. He's very. That's David no Hater. Very. Uh, no saving some VIP or old man. This is great. And what he like wants. I'm glad that we're actually letting this it's like. like a, Hot damsel in distress. Mm -hmm. I'll think about it. So We're well, they're making jokes about on. video games. What a chauvinist! Yeah, but they're making a joke about their own video game, and then they're making fun of themselves. Yeah, apes. apes. <laughs> just thoughts. Monkeys, but not just any monkeys. Well, the apes are monkeys. Those are two different things. Monkeys? Just listen. Your mission is to infiltrate ah, the jungle and catch I've read about these the guys Again. in the manual of is this game. Monkeys? Yes. I downloaded that on. Uh, this is a great. We should play Ape Escape 2 at some point. They re released <laughs> it. Their ass biker Jimmy. They did. 
um, and I downloaded it on my PS4. What about me? And, no shit. Yeah, yeah, and I played it, and it's uh, it's not as good as you remember it. So don't bother. <laughs> not as good as we remember. Okay. No, it Fair is. Enough. It certainly is not. And so it, it was kind of sad. We went to early uh, with the PPS today. We're uh, I think we're on number two hundred and twenty-seven or some shit. Yeah. Um, but we're getting ready to gear up and head right over to uh, RTX. I am. Um, I think Rocco might swing by later. So we wanted to do a quick show. We might take some Skype calls, uh, especially if uh, I recognize Scratchman. You were at AX. We should talk yeah. mainly about uh, the great time that we had out at Anime Expo this year. Uh, 2017. Super, super fun time. I thought we had a great panel. I thought... Uh, the, it was a good time, the man. The new merchandise is just fucking impossible to keep on the shelves. Yeah. It really blows my mind, like, uh, how much people respond to how much uh, people come by and are, are honestly intrigued not only knowing what Mega64 is. Yeah. It's almost like they're seeing our clothes and going like, oh, this is, I want this. And then yeah. I'll check your site out. And, and that's what's cool. Like, so many people this time, I want to say, for the first time, ever we've had people come in and kind of say to us who are our fans oh you guys i wear you more like a brand than i do um you know to support you as as you know video makers and to support your shirts and for the first time ever at this con um because i think the last one we did was pax east i had a lot of people coming up or commenting that they think we are just a brand just yeah. a, just some sort of clothing brand which it, is it might appear that way lately. which is really cool because i mean we've been putting out such great stuff and this isn't just a plug for our stuff like i don't i don't like to do that kind of stuff and, and, and i will and i'll tell you like hey this is a plug this is legitimately me seeing the the merchandise that we've been putting out and being like impressed by it yeah and and i don't take a you guys probably don't see me wearing, especially on the podcast, a lot of our merchandise because I don't take uh, stuff at home anymore that I don't feel I'm going to wear. Um, and now, to, like with the with the tie dye shirt, the ATS shirt, and oh, the um, yeah, big shout outs to the anime trash swag yeah. collaboration out. that we did. Um, God, they they sold it over at their booth uh, during AX yep. on the show floor, and yep. then we sold it at ours too, and. I, I love that shirt. Not only I love do it. I love the art from that shirt, but uh, Three, a lot of other two, people do too. That, that, yeah. that was flying. Start. Oh, God. I, I, I like barely remember you this. You have to I like... the easy gun. Oh, what have, are the controls? Uh, oh. oh, God. Yeah, these are not going to be... So X is going to be to crouch and get up, yeah? That yeah. never changed. CQC in this game is triangle, um, but I don't know what... Fuck. You have like a dart gun. I think you can knock them out. Yeah, the M Shaker, the Monkey Shaker so you have special to hold gun, knocks R out monkeys. I think you have to hold R1 if you want to do, if you want a ready weapon. Ep equipping it puts you in a monkey catching mood? I know it sounds strange to most people. What the fuck does that even mean? It's just, it's Kojima, he always likes to be funny. Hmm. I don't like when he's funny. I like I, when he's it, only serious. Does he see me? Oh god, do you not have... Oh fuck, he sees me. You should have a first person. Oh fuck. I don't know. I can't. I don't know what any of the controls are. Oh, the other thing's just the camera. That's, oh yeah. Well, you have oh, to it's... click uh, R three. I don't know. Oh wow. Oh, oh. Try shooting. Oh fuck! The other one saw me too. This is not good. Well, they're trying to run away from you. Mm, 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 mm. Got him. Kick, kick. There you go. Oh, he's. So he. I don't know what you have to do now. I don't either. Oh, maybe once he's down or or whatever, you have to shoot him? Maybe. I'm glad we don't know the controls. Oh, that clicks yep. in. Yep. Directional microphone can pick up small sounds when equipped. Okay. Well, back to the... Uh, we were talking about the uh, the ATS collab and how cool it was. Yeah, they, they were... Uh, they were awesome. They, uh, they came by, they hung out with us, and... Their booth was like double the size that it's ever been. Oh, really? Past, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I only got over there really, really quick on like I think the third day. Yeah, and, and their stuff probably by that point was sold out. We came over there on the second day and their stuff was gone. Um, and picked up a shirt from them and, uh, and a bunch of stuff like uh, their own shirts. They have this really awesome Tokyo 3 shirt that I want to buy, um, but they were already sold out of their sizes uh, up to like 
Super XL. Well, we also, uh, we also had a lot of our fans, our uh, viewers, our lovely poorly played stream viewers out there come by and uh, talk to us. Oh, yeah. Uh, shouts out to, uh, I want to say, uh, Gent Trooper on at, at at Gent Trooper on Twitter. Um, he sent me this shirt that I think he was selling at his booth. Right. Out at AX. Yeah, yeah. He came by right at the end. Um, Jonathan V, who are, always calls in. Scratch Man, who always calls in. Um, people. <laughs> oh, I'm just. People I are saying. Your help. People are saying it sounds like I'm calling in through Skype. Yeah, he's skyping in. So, today. so I wanted to make sure it wasn't like I had the mic positioned wrong is that does that sound better that sounds good that do you want to give us a try because i'm 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 uh that sounds way i'm having better, trouble talking as i am as exhausted. you're doing this yeah this sounds way better <laughs> and the trying to run the sorry, show sorry everyone the mic was turned around well that's brian's, why brian's got it figured out yeah we on. uh oh boy we oh did boy. have scratchman on the phone earlier oh goodness gracious how do you get weapons up right okay but let's see if he will call back again um yeah the first two days i think were, oh, there you got first person view. The first two days of AX were so crowded and so heavily populated then what? Then what do you do? Uh, that we kind of all just stayed in our booth. But then I think the third day is like the prime day. If you're going to go just for one, go for the third day. Or in our case, our panel was on day four. So a lot of people just went there. And that was probably the easiest as far as crowds and just the amount of people outside and everything. What are you yeah, I don't remember if it's a Fulton thing or whatever. There's no real, like, tutorial. I mean, obviously, we should start over because we're, like, three and a half minutes yeah, into, like, on, okay. no monkey action. So, let's exit our... Yeah, I want no paint, banana. We didn't even set up camouflage very well. Well, so. yeah. Three. Oh, no. oh, it just goes to restart, literally. Well, I, I, I went to retry, but... Well, let's here see. is exit. the man that I spoke of earlier. <laughs> Great job. Hey, Scratch Man. Oh, my hey. voice. What's my, up, guys? <clears throat> my voice sounds so hoarse, buddy. Yep. And I got I got another week of this shit uh, going to Texas tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, green tea. Tons dude, and tons of green tea. Shit. I've been drinking that kombucha. Yeah. I've been getting that... Oh, escape the jungle. I just, I just hit um, the wrong button. The wrong button. To go back <laughs> into what we just exited out of. So, so uh, how, was, how was your anime expo, man? Um, my anime ahead. expo, honestly, was pretty great. On like, it wasn't one of the best, but it was definitely up there in terms of like goodness. Like, if it was just Saturday, I'd gone, it'd have been terrible. But really? the last two days made up for it for sure. Yeah, like I was saying before, do you think like skipping the first two days, as far as like crowds, would m pay off? Um, if you're there specifically for convention exclusive items. No. If you're there just to get uh, oh, that's the right. overall experience and meet friends, yes. But if you're if you're uh, exclusive hunting, it's a different story. I see what you mean. Oh my God. Yeah, and I kind of feel bad. A lot of my friends are the people that tend to exclusive hunt, and they uh, even showing up on day negative one, which they did for the first time this year. Which, yeah. For the listeners, if you're not familiar. Day negative one uh, was Thursday, and that's yeah. normally day number one for Anime Expo. Day number one this year was Saturday, right? and the last day yeah. was Tuesday. So it was pretty weird in terms of scheduling. Like, I think I think they've made an announcement after this year that they're going to work on uh, microchipping the badges yeah. and sending them out in the mail ahead of time to they deal with the outside the stuff. Two hours ago, that it's gonna yeah. be badges are mailed next okay, year. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's yep. hey, great news and like good on them. Uh, I think too. I've great heard, job. <laughs> I just don't know. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, I don't know if it's already over, but uh, pre-sale badges for next year, the four-day passes, they're fifty-six bucks. Uh, I think tomorrow they go up to seventy-one. Whoa. That's the biggest Whoa. price jump I've ever seen for any convention ever. Hey. So get on I mean, they, they hey, would charge up? it. People go. Yeah, but man, yep. that, that get your tickets now, though. Jeez, that yeah. first two hours yeah. where like people are still trying to get in, and day one when people are in line until like five in the afternoon, they yeah. basically miss the whole convention. I heard the story of people getting there, waiting in line for hours and hours and hours, and then getting into the show floor with only a half hour. 
Yeah, that and was then, my friend Alex. And then not sure. being able to get a. Did you tell me the story how they would not give him a refund? Um, that wasn't me, but uh, oh, okay. they they he wanted because. Okay, I actually have it up right now. The SPJA, they put out an official statement on Saturday talking about, like, the lines and stuff like that. And uh, oh. i got to find the name of this guy. Okay, the SPJA Chief Operations Officer, Ray, I think this is how you pronounce it, Chung? Colonel. Ray Chung. Ray Colonel Chung. Colonel. Yep. Okay. Ray Colonel Chung. Otacon. Okay, no, not Otacon. I appreciate your help. Go ahead. Uh, he put out a statement. Oh yeah, we comped all the, we comp badges and stuff like that. You know, you can go to our website if you had a bad Saturday, and get your badge comp and stuff like that. My oh, friend really? Alex was one of those people who was in line for a shit you not seven hours. Uh, he went up to the information booth. He's like, hey, I read this article about badges being comp. Information had no idea what the fuck he was talking well, about. Well, that's he went yeah, up, yeah, that happens. Up, yeah, a everyone's a fucking volunteer there. So e even picking up. And it's been this way for 10 years. Even picking up our exhibitor badges is uh, 15 kids on their cell phones pointing at each other. She can do it. No, he can do it. No, they do it over there. Walk down to that booth. And right. then it's like, hey, you're all fucking standing in a line playing uh, Sudoku or some shit. Right. Someone print a fucking badge. Or walk us to the guy who actually prints the badge. Don't point and then just give us, you know, the responsibility to go find the next guy who's gonna brush us off to some other. Yeah. It's yeah. a problem when you have incompetent staff. Right. I've, I'm just being straight up fucking honest. Yeah, when they're just lazing about, it's kind they of... They don't... We, we talk all the time about AX is probably the poorliest ran of... For, especially of at least for the big of the of the stuff that we go to, especially and it's so, for attendees, it's grown so fucking huge. I'm not faulting them. I love the convention. It's just unfortunate that it is not ran as smooth as others. Now they're working on it, and this is great news. I think um, because it's, about it's the only news. Oh, you got him! Okay, you gotta kick him. So once you you gotta, knock you him gotta out, beat the monkey dog. Where right. are you just like playing in, dumb? Chat like saying you game. have to click R three. You gotta beat that monkey. Click R3 would change your uh, your, your, oh, cool. your controls. Nope. Is that what you did? I hit R3. And you, you got him. Yep. So oh, now. so it's like the capture net from the actual game. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's cool. Oh, okay. okay. We're getting it. I should have just Shouts used out the chat. controls from the game that I played. Shouts out chat. Instead hey, of being they should dummy. probably pay their staff. Too. Yeah. I mean, it seems fucking huge, and they are not profitable or not for profit or whatever you they call. They are still non-profit. Yeah. So. L three, L three, not R. I don't know. I don't. You wouldn't I don't know. know it from the fact that uh, a lot of the industry booths were strong arming some of the third party vendors with like cease and desists and yeah. shit like that. Well, dude, the... there were straight up void spots on day two. Yeah. That were that got kicked out. Yeah, apparently shut yeah. down due to copyright stuff, and they were just like, yeah. that spot is just a big ass patch of carpets gone. It's like, what was there? Oh, it's from industries too that you would not expect to do it. Like I won't. Push anybody under, or throw anybody under the bus. Shouts out. Great I'm job. Kidding. I hear you. You're a bigger man than that. Yeah. But I don't want this call. To be, I don't want this call to be 100% shitting on Anime Expo. I'm actually no. curious. Yeah. I'm actually curious to know what you guys did over the weekend at Anime Expo that was fun. Oh, like yeah. what kind of fun you guys had at the convention. Well, I mean, my mode of conventioning now is pretty much to be in the booth as much as possible. Mm -hmm. So I, I rarely leave, but I did make it a chance, like we both said, we went down to the Anime Trash Swag booth. Yeah. Uh, we checked out their stuff, picked up some stuff. Um, on my shopping list, someone dropped off a little zine, and then I went down to Artist Alley to go visit Mariel and Tyson. God, I never got over right. Artist Alley. Yeah, Kiniko, uh, who does a lot of our merch, and she had her new sketchbook, which I didn't, she wasn't there, but her husband Tyson, uh, who does a lot of Sonic comics and stuff, he was there. Um, yeah, isn't he working on, like, a, all, this, all the art, like, the they're Sonic? They're both working on, she's working on that Indivisible RPG now, and I, they're both, like, I'm amazed with how much shit they do. But uh, wow. I checked their stuff out, and then right like four doors down, there were these little Eva charms that someone in the zine pointed me to. They left a zine, or they gave me a zine at our booth. Oh yeah. And uh, it was pretty clever, and it said like, "Hey, some stuff to check out." And uh, that's pretty I sick. Did. Yeah, I mean, it got me there, and then I bought their oh, you little just charm. Stand on them. That's it. Um, 
The other thing, someone tweeted at me about a brand called Heavy Black that they thought I'd be interested in, and I had never heard of it, and they were absolutely right. Yeah. So I hunted them down uh, day three or four, I think. And we both ended up. Yeah, and Brian, I brought Brian back with me. I was like, you gotta fucking come. Look what I got. It's and, a uh, really cool shirt. Yeah, we went and picked some stuff up there, and I talked to the guy who makes that stuff, and uh, that was about... That was about all my kind of like pickup stuff yeah right. i don't really ever go there with too much in mind i always see i'm, cool do, I'm stuff. like done with figures I'm like da- i'm done i've been done with figures. very 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 picky now just because i'm out of room but i don't right. really leave uh, expo halls with figures anymore unless yeah. it's unless it's something old that was always on my list and i just came up on yeah but everything there's like new stuff like they don't really make a lot of ava stuff that i'm you know yeah. Interesting. I know game. for I know for me personally, I tend to limit myself because if I don't, I'm gonna spend far too much money in that place. Oh yeah. Well, but fucking I, I know for parking is like. Oh god. God, they just get twenty five dollars a day. So oh fuck me. <laughs> yeah, man. But uh, you that's know, fucking L A. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's no fault of the convention itself. That's just how L A. is. What? Well, where's yeah. like Fanime? Is that another like? Where's Fanime. That, is this that okay? LA? That's. That's my home convention. That is uh, up in San Jose. Yeah, see? Yeah. Do they have a lot of um, fucking cosplayers at that? Fanime is 100% the cosplayer convention. That's okay, the place yeah. where if you want to... Wanna... I tried to talk to every motherfucker at Anime Expo about this. And mm. no one could... They're like, oh, I don't know, AX, but, you know, you should do it here. Or, or, or I don't know, there's ALA. That's kind of a drinking where party con. But, but like, I was, I was asking... Uh, as far as like cosplaying, so Fanime is a huge cosplay thing, right? Fanime is the cosplay convention for right, sure because where while Anime Expo has industry and they have like the publishers and developers and, and actual Jose. like uh, stuff like that, Fanime is 100% about uh, third party people. They're about people like you guys would do so freaking good up in Fanime. Well, well here's went. my here's um, my interest in Fanime. So. Last year at AX, I cosplayed as the uh, the Diamond Dog Soldier, the right. you know the Mother Base right. BDUs. The so thanks for that boss guy. I want to improve on that because you can actually load out with those characters, you know. And in Metal Gear Online, you can dress them up like that too. And they have yeah unique forearm armor and unique like uh, chest rig and and uh, the spies harness and stuff. Right. So I want to kind of build on that cosplay that I wore at AX. <laughs> And maybe just go to Fanime as an attendee and just cosplay the whole yeah. weekend. And like, because there was still a lot of Metal Gear uh, costumes there. There was even a Metal Gear meetup again this year at AX. Oh, really? I didn't right. get a chance to go because I was stuck in the booth. But I saw a lot of photos that were like really fucking cool. If you did your best to uh, hide your uh, dreads and kind of cover well, your the face baklava. even slightly. Yeah, the baklava is perfect for that. Yeah, if you did that uh, and you went up to Fanime, you'd be able to pose as just like a regular person. You wouldn't get swarmed by people. Oh well, shit, it's Garrett. Garrett's yeah. here. Oh. I don't get swarmed by people anyway, though. You'd be surprised. Right. I walk around all Anime Expo and I don't. You, well, I hear like I'll hear like one or two people in a Mega sixty four shirt that I noticed as I walked by them whisper like, oh, yeah, like oh, to shit, their girlfriend. It's like, oh, right. go Garrett from Mega sixty four. Yeah, and right. they're usually whispering it to a friend that goes like, huh, what? So. The difference being, the though, is, is... What did you, what you say? say? Listen. I was so gonna say... What? No. So uh, what? <laughs> Oops. So <laughs> what? Why don't you Sorry. stop playing dumb? Okay, let's get to it, Scratch Man. Um, I was gonna say, the difference being... Uh, yeah. Like, I don't... You guys, Mega64, they've never been up to Fanime before, have they? Uh, I don't you guys know. As a group? I do no? not think so. No. So, like... That's the thing, though. If one of you guys were to show up, like even casually, everybody would assume that the rest of you guys were there, and they'd be like, "Holy shit! Oh, I gotta like talk to this guy." Oh, wait, moving for That's like, that's just my opinion, though, because I know Circle. like there have been other guests that have shown up at Fanime who you never expect. Oh, shit, you still have to... <laughs> yeah, Sorry. and yeah, they they just they just get swarmed by people. Anyway, I, I don't want to go on too much about that, but Fanime's but good. but I think Ma- Fanime is your home destination. Maybe Fanime next year. Yeah, I've always heard a lot of good stuff about it. Well, um, we always I don't... do and seem to do really well uh, at anime cons for the same reasons that you just made, uh, you know, listed. Mm-hmm. So you go into first person, Brian. Uh, R one. I would love to see them. Uh, I would love to see us be there. 
uh, and see us at more conventions if that's possible. Mm -hmm. But, you know, again, it's all a matter of whether or not it's possible. It's, uh, I know the timing of Fanime, it's always a month before Anime Expo, too. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you guys would do that, and then you could take a month and then do the AXRTX grind that you guys do. Yeah, followed I by mean, this, SDCC. Dude, apparently. this one, uh, just walk up to him. There you go. Oh, it's a toucher. Yeah. Uh, what was L3, you guys L3 said? was what you did in the original Ape Escape, but in this one you can just... Touch him. Yeah. Ah, uh, I got it. Since you don't have a net, because you're right. You're supposed to have a baton, which knocks him out, and then a net to catch them. Uh, but in this one you just uh, knock him out and then, and then do the thing. Um, what was I saying? What was I say? I don't know. Something about fan Why don't you stop playing oh, dumb? Yeah. Uh, it would just be, uh, it'd be fun. We always, we always want to try to be more places, but um, yeah, especially in July, like this month, they're, uh, they're getting ready to go tomorrow to RTX. Uh, and then when we, when they come back, it's another, five, what week? And then it's Comic Con. Yeah. yeah, about a week and a half. And that that week and a half, I have like so much shit to do. Yeah, because you, you I'm, know, I'm fitting like side work stuff in that's oh, gonna yeah. just. It's gonna be. <laughs> get ready for uh, get ready for those exhausted PPSs of uh, our past, oh, where yeah. I can barely speak. I mean, I'm kind of there now. I'm stumbling over like every other word. Yeah. But you You'll know, just be asleep in a chair in the back, and Twilight will be running the thing. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. No. We if can't... Twilight shows up again, I kicked her off the show. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan really has stepped up and kind of been really helpful, and I have trouble saying no, you know, because yeah. she's family. But Brian, oh look at him spanking his yeah, ass! Yeah, like he's gonna taunt thing. you like a ape. Hey, you should throw a grenade at those things. I'm gonna do that. Hell oh, yeah! I was trying to duck, and then I started doing I know. barrel See, rolls. The, there are so many things I'm used to that they added in four that they that never had that they never had in uh, MGS before this, like being able to walk in a crouched position. Oh fuck! Did it work? Where are they? Yeah. yeah. One, two. two. Oh, what did you say? Listen, so what? You must think I'm garbage. Celebratory, uh, David Hayter, drop session. Well, Scratch Man, yeah, in, uh, in summation, though, did you have any highlights? I mean, we did, we did go out, uh, we had a great dinner. Rocco took us out, uh, the third night. Uh, we met up with a bunch of our friends over at Rooster Teeth. Yeah. Most of their whole Ruby animation team, a lot of them were there. Uh, right. Not animation team, but like a uh, just people who work you know Miles Carey producers, yeah. uh, Gray, Barbara, a bunch of people, um, right. some Funhouse guys. It was cool seeing a bunch of people. I mean, we're gonna be hanging out yeah. with everyone at Rooster Teeth over this next weekend. But mm. what about you? Did you have any uh, kind of standalone moments? So yeah, Monday night for sure. Uh, I'm a part of a panel that's always at AX Fanime and ALA. It's called the Cosplay Wrestling Federation. Oh okay. Um, I play Reality from South Park, and basically what you do is you just go up on stage as that character, cut promos on other cosplay wrestlers who are in the show. <laughs> who are in the also, audience? No, no, not in the audience. They're, like, this is a completely organized thing. So oh, this sounds interesting. Yeah, it's there's a champion, there's other wrestlers, there's a storyline to it. That it's been going on for like four years. My character has pretty much been established as like the number one villain, only because this last show that we did at Anime Expo, I told Brian about this. Yeah, yeah, got, I remember talking to you. It was, it was really funny. It got canceled midway through. Really? Yeah. There were It was a room of like 300 plus some odd people. And the staff uh, canceled it on you? It's not, it's not that they canceled it because of the size. They canceled it because at one point, someone's prop, it was a glass champagne, or a champagne glass. Yeah. It got knocked over, it hit the floor, it broke. Staff came in, they're like, listen guys, there's broken shards on the floor. We're canceling this panel right now. You're like, have you ever seen backyard wrestling? This is ICP level shit that you're interrupting yeah, you, right here. Yeah, you don't just walk in and be like, hey, this is canceled. And at one point, we're all sitting, in, we're all, all the wrestlers, we're sitting in the back, it's like, oh, no, 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 no. And the crowd is like, whoa, no, no, you're not fucking canceled. We waited three hours to do that, and they're getting like riled and riled Ooh, and riled. So they're gonna yeah. riot. Thankfully, <laughs> Thankfully, the people that run the show are experienced with rowdy crowds that yeah. they calm the crowds down. They're like, guys, listen, smart. It sucks. We'll go outside of like West Hall and we'll just like, we'll do a mini thing for you guys. All right, let's just get the fuck out of here. Let's give AX the room. Go to an open area and redirect everyone there. Yeah. That's smart. Yep. So that was like, 
I was prepared to do the whole damn show as my character, but that hiccup made it so different that it honestly made it a lot better, in my opinion. At least oh, yeah. for us as the performers. I don't know about the audience. They probably, you know, oh shit, I waited three hours just to see an hour and then have to walk out. Like, that sucks, but... Yeah. Yeah. Well, like I'm sitting there. <laughs> it, I'm glad it all came together in the end. What, what's the name of it one more time? Because uh, if you do all three of those, Fanime, A A L A, and Cosplay AX, Wrestling Federation, is that it? It's the Cosplay Wrestling Federation. Cosplay we do. Wrestling it's, Federation. it's it's Brian. You'll find this really funny. It's mm -hmm. we do A L A, Fanime, and Anime Expo are our pay per view shows. I and see. Kraken <laughs> Con and Sack Summer and Sack Anime Summer and Sack Anime Winter are our quote unquote house shows where we I have see. newer people come in and kind of do shows for smaller crowds for a different belt and all that and it's it's nice it's a lot of fun to be a part of for sure and yeah. it's so much more fun to watch live that's awesome it's it's great but yeah that was the highlight of my weekend well that was number one but then a very 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 close second very guys close panel second sure. oh our, guys our, panel sure. our panel yes Shit. Oh, I get missed him. him. Fuck, That's I missed okay. him. I it was, him. It was... Oh, sorry. I can't... Oh, was... there he is. <coughs> there he is. Come on, you little monkey. Oh, he's Start alerted. Just behind him. There, there he goes. Uh, you were saying the... Uh, you were about to say something great about our panel. How was the uh, cosplay? Did were, were we up to par with recent love, uh, years in, in our costumes? Yeah, you guys were. Uh, okay. I was especially surprised by your uh, shout out to, I think his name's uh, Aidenowski something? Uh, the oh, Aid Aidenowski's, yeah, there was definitely some, some Aidenowski reference. Uh, more clearly, though, I think uh, uh, Andrew Dice Clay inspiration from oh. my costume. True. Yeah, because yeah. I'm an ass eater from way back. Right, um, true, so uh, true. It, it was, yeah, we had a, we had a great time. Uh, I think that was a pretty big turnout too. Yeah, we we had a pretty good crowd the, and we the put end on... all be all like we we were worried because Fourth of July, you know, it's like a holiday weekend. A lot of people have plans. Yeah, and Anime Expo has been doing it on Fourth of July every year since it was first actually on Fourth of July. Like it was their hill to die on. Yeah, mm -hmm. but we hadn't had our panel on a Fourth of July yet. I don't think. Yeah, and we've never closed out a show. And that was kind well, of yeah, cool. I think I heard that from a lot of people that they really liked that that was the last thing to do yeah and yeah. honestly you got a lot of find the last guy i think he's probably up in the tree somewhere yeah but i had a lot of people come up and tell me uh or, or i had a lot of people um who said they were going to try to come by getting a badge from somebody else the last day because the con would be over mm -hmm. and so it'd be like hey if you got a friday badge, oh, yeah or just wait you know, outside whatever. god and it, and it and it just killed my perception of this week like i think it, i keep thinking it's monday Dude, I was in an argument with the fucking lady trying to get my parking oh. pass thing and get out. It's in the probably log. in that log. No, it's not. Oh, hollow shit. log. No, it's a full log. Uh, is this? There oh, is. there he is. You little bugger. Um, so I got into a crazy argument because I couldn't remember what day it was and everything was throwing me off that it was Wednesday or it was, it was Tuesday. Tuesday when we were trying we were to leave. And I was fighting with the lady who wanted to charge me for parking more than I should have been charged. Yeah. Uh, but I, I could not remember, and it was fucking me up so bad, and it made me look like I was full of shit. Because I'm like, <laughs> no, 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 I came in fucking Monday. No, Monday? No. What What day? Sun, sun, what day is it today? Is it Wednesday? I was so fucking backwards. Right. She's like, uh-huh. <laughs> we have you on the overnight list. I know you stayed here overnight. I'm like, no, I swear. <laughs> I lost my ticket. Lady. Come really? on. Really? Oh, Cut I had me trouble. some slack. Oh, Gosh. Yeah, I did not have any problem. Oh, I had some trouble. That sucks. Uh, they 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 write down fucking license plate numbers. Oh, did they? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't. I have shouldn't that have been fibbing, but I didn't have that problem. I'm trying to help my boy. Yep. Uh, a different parking lot, not an AX parking lot. But <clears throat> what you gonna do? Got to pay the piper eventually. Yep. Always Scratch man, yeah. uh, thank you so much for coming out. That's a stage clear. I think Brian, you should go for a harder. Oh uh, yeah. Another level. Uh, I think I can load up a quick tune. Uh, we were having issues with the main uh, turntables here with the uh, music selection, so we're all going off the background music. I can't. Even I I really I love that all of these are um, all of these are movie title puns, and I never noticed that. 
Yeah. <laughs> Escape from the jungle. Dragnet of the apes. Dragnet of the apes. Dawn of the apes. That makes sense, especially now that we're fucking doing it again. Ape fear. We are gone with the apes. Return of the living apes. And then apes of wrath. I like Return of the Living. Uh... It's the details like that that make games like these great, memorable. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I love that they had the Spanish version too. <laughs> Our, yeah, that would be Spanish, not French. Uh, there's 21. So, uh, Scratchman, say good night and bear with us as we play you out on this track. We'll see you at the next one, and maybe I'll be cosplaying at Fanime uh, with you and yours. We'll have to join the Metal Gear meetup. That'd be great. All, All right, right, dude. Thank you, guys. Talk Peace. to you later. Peace. All right, uh, Brian, you're going to get this going. I'm going to take a quick break. Hell yeah. We'll be right back. Like I said, we're, we're going to do a tight hour today because we got, oh, we're back at Grozny Grad, Brian. Oh, yeah. Uh, Selena Yoss. I love, Selena Yoss. I love that like this game taught me how to properly pronounce stuff like Selino Yoss uh, and Sokolov. Grozny. And Grozny Grad, yeah, great. Great, great pronunciation Spetsnaz. on Grozny Grad and Spetsnaz. Uh... Wait, it's it, it's You're it's fun in the Phantom Pain how much uh, Russian kind of influence there is against the opposing PFs that yeah. you're fighting. Because ooh, ooh, grenade God. those motherfuckers! I don't have one. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, you do. I do. Yeah, new loadout item. Okay. Um, yeah, I love that Soviet influence in that game because I really like the characters, and you get that in two with the tanker incident. Those are all Soviet. Guys. Oh shit! Yeah, two, three, four, five. What did you say? Six. Listen. Seven. So what? Eight. I know it sounds strange nine. to most people. Was that nine? Yeah, I almost got that guy. Damn! Too. But he was like, he was still yeah. stunned, right? Yeah, but then. that's easy. You know that there's gonna be like ten of them that's super hidden somewhere. Yeah. Like Look at that little... th those are the ones that you're like, oh yeah, I got this, and then like yeah, there's gonna be twenty of them. Looks like up. there were two up there too. If you want to grenade yeah. them both again, I thought. Oh, you can throw it up that way. Yeah. Oh no, he's coming down now. Cool how they like mixed both games. Because <laughs> this is all the assets and the levels of this, you know, part of Metal Gear Three. Yeah. Ah, uh, unable to download item. Like I said, we're kind of gimped musically, but uh, I think we'll make do. There was one other caller. If you were calling in, uh, I sure would like to talk to you. It looks like, oh, our boy Dehan is calling in again. Dehan, I was online today farming uh, GMP and resources in Metal Gear, and, yeah. and you, you came as a, a, a FOB attack for training destination. And I tried to jump on and defend, you know, in the training simulation, but I, uh, I guess I couldn't get in in time or something. It got dis the network got disconnected. Were you aware of that? 
Where's the hunt? I explained that whole thing. Yo, Maybe. sorry. Oh no, there you are. Yo, uh, can you hear me or is there like uh, interference? I, no, I got you now. I think I think the interference is gone. Why don't you stop playing dumb? Whoa. Japanese. Wow. Whoa. Zanzibar. Whoa. Can you hear all three him? of those? Can you repeat after me? Brother! Brother! Big dude. I hope everyone's enjoying the live broadcast. You're, you're reading in clear. You sound uh, crystalline. So, yeah, I was saying earlier, I saw that you came to visit my FOB and I tried to come defend it, but uh, the network got uh, disconnected or something. Network uh, error. I don't know. I, I didn't invade. I was just like uh, the train option. So, no, of no course. damage was done. No, no, of Actually, course. Me and Brian accidentally, Brian invaded me without training, yeah. and then it opened up like a wormhole where well, we... you you were visiting mine and you killed Oh yeah, one. I was visiting and I accidentally killed one of his guys with a lethal weapon. Uh, not yeah. thinking he would do anything, and then it opened up a retaliatory wormhole. He came in, and it, we're still friends, but now we've got this like blockade that lasted a month. It's nine days left, yeah. and then we can train again. Oh really? Yeah. Still? Check that it, it's still nine fucking days left. Come on. Yeah, because yeah. we were supposed to like, we were gonna just hang out and train when we were just like messing around one day. Yeah. And just like, I that one silly mistake. Like, I didn't even care. Because we were gonna get out of the visit and go to yeah. train, but while I was in visit, I was like, okay, before you block out, I wanna test this new gun I just bought. <laughs> and I fucking shot one of your dudes and. Yeah, he was like, why did I just do that? And then it went like, what are you doing, Snake? It like ended the game right there because yeah. I killed one of your guys. They yeah. thought I was boss because I was visiting. Um, oh really? I didn't yeah. consider that. Yeah. It, I was, thought uh, it, was it was it was a mistake. But yeah, Dehan, I saw that you came in. You were training, but I came to also train with you. And uh, did you just get to my core before I could log in? Uh, I think I like. It took me about four minutes. I think. So maybe I was still like quick or something. Actually, I was playing and uh, I, I noticed on my like uh, the the FOB menu. Mm -hmm. I have like I, I support a lot of players and like you're you're one of them. Hey, there's a uh, fucking guy that's been Ryan. picking on me named Merciless Fury. Oh wow, I, I only got PS Plus like three days ago. So. All right, because I saw Brian. Some dickhead's been fucking invading your FOB. Yeah. And he shows up as a support target that I, I'm gonna go, I haven't had I, any fucking time, but maybe tonight I'm gonna go bust his shit up. I think it was somebody we were playing with, because they added me as a friend. Oh, okay. So I think it was somebody we were playing with, and they, they didn't do much. My guy stopped them. And then when I oh. tried to re retaliate against him, it's, he got you. It's, no, same, yeah, same thing. He, he was like, I did not have the right loadout. And that's when I was like, hey, maybe I need to go, go lethal on FOB because I don't think it affects your heroism. And I've been trying to be, like, non-lethal. Yeah. Um, and that's been fucking me uh, sometimes. Yeah, I know we both, like, duck down to see. I know, like, ooh, is he in there? Did yeah. you crawl under where Sokolov's room is? I, yeah, I didn't know. I, I don't know if any of them are under here. Uh, I don't remember. But, uh, yeah, you were saying you were looking at FOB supporting. You you support a lot of yeah. players. I, I saw Brian's, like, I, I saw his account, and I immediately knew that only one person, like, could be, like, behind this. And I immediately, immediately assumed that this happened, where someone went, either Brian went on your FOB and accidentally shot someone or accidentally extracted a container or you did that to, to his FOB. Because yeah. I also did once to yours. I, I, I went to visit and I thought like, okay, well, it says no damage is gonna occur to the FOB. So I thought I would fulton myself out with the container. Oh, to get out, yeah, it, to extract. Yeah, and, then, and it went like, oh wait, no, that, that's not allowed. It's, it's Oh yeah, yeah well. that's such a force to have it. So, you know, I recognize your name from, from Skyping in every week, but maybe that does ring a bell that, like, I saw you come up on my invader list at some point, but I never yeah. retaliated, did I? <laughs> what must be it, yeah. Well, I'll come visit, uh, uh, but yeah, hey, you can help me out with the uh, you-know-who who I mentioned earlier, but, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back to training when me and Brian have that blockade lifted for sure. Yeah, that's so dumb that we're still like, blockaded. I, I, I haven't played like Cause we're friends. Phantom Pain at all in a long while because of mostly because of I didn't have PS Plus. Right. But uh, today, like I, I don't I don't know the last time I actually managed to find uh, an FOB with a nuke. 
and oh, yeah. steal it. Never. I think it's been like two years now, but today, like first Holy try, shit. I managed to steal a nuke and dismantle Holy it shit. without without anyone like invading my. <laughs> Dude, hey. You know what? I think we need a little here's to you. <coughs> we need a, a little round of applause, yeah. a little salute, Brian, me and that's you. A, that's pretty impressive. Thank you for your service. Uh, yeah. Doing doing the good work of Kojima. You you successfully got in and disabled a nuke. I have yet to even see. I can never even find anyone with a nuke. So wow, yeah, the it's, first it's time really in two hard. years. Wow. This is like, this is hope for Peace Day, guys. Uh, all will be forgiven once Peace Day occurs. <laughs> I'm, it's, it's extremely hard. It's I'm, like I, I I I actually suck hard at like. Yeah, I'm not that invading. good either. But how? So you snuck all the way in and stole the nuke, and then when you got back to your AAC, you disabled it. Yeah, and nobody, that, that's the funny thing, and I think that's like the, the sign that we are going to reach nuclear, like, uh, the whole, uh, uh like, a scene very soon, because usually, like, last year when I was doing this, as soon, as soon as I entered the ACC after I extracted, extracted a nuke, immediately someone would invade me, yeah. and he would try to steal the nuke. This time, I literally managed to dismantle it before anyone even... Actually, nobody uh, like invaded me at all. Not so no like, one supporting him? No, no, None of that guy's friends or anyone are still playing? Yeah, but the reason why it's so hard to find uh, nuke FOBs is because as soon as you extract, extract a nuke, uh, it, it shows up under your FOB. Under your FOB, so as soon as you extract it, you're, you're still... On the on the FOB from that guy. Yeah. But somebody can invade your FOB in the meantime and already like steal the nuke. Yeah, That's why it's, it's so hard to like dismantle nukes before someone steals it. It favors it's, it's the especially for me quarters. because I have yeah. like I, I have one platform, so all the guy has to do is like teleport and extract. No one's even gonna see him. So that's why I suck at nuke hunting because I only have one platform and. Basically, it takes them like five seconds to steal the nuke back, but this time, I mean, like, I, I'm 21 nukes in, and this was the first one that I man managed to dismantle without anyone uh, invading. So. Jesus, I, 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 I mean, I'm impressed, yeah. man. Uh, it, your 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 devotion, you're not. You, there's not many of us that are still playing this game, and. Uh, yeah, man, that's really fucking cool. I, I, I'm no, I'm hopeful now, and I want to go try uh, again. Like as soon as I can get some time off, <laughs> I want to try playing and searching that nuke tab and spamming it for uh, yeah for some people. Because one, what happened to me with the whole nuke thing? I did it just for the experience of like I want to develop a nuke and grow right. my horn. I did that, got the horn, got the blood, uh, but then someone overnight came in stole it and I don't know what they did with it probably dismantled it or what but I didn't even have the chance to dismantle it I thought like I can hold on to this for a couple days do it do something with it later and it don't work that way like people yeah. were hunting for him when the game was first out but yeah it's good to hear that like there's some hope it's it's not impossible it's just yeah. rare and it'll start to hopefully become less rare uh, so, uh, in hopes I didn't blab on about Melga too much. Yeah, I, I, because we I are about to end. We are about to wrap up. Oh. Well, let's damn. get to it. Let's go speed round, baby. I mean, I, only, I had like one question, so it's too much. It's it's. I only try to be Melga centered so when there's like a related stream. So I'm not playing. Well, so. we're almost always related. <laughs> With Brian yeah, and yeah, me, it's strange. Yeah. It's gonna be uh, somewhere in the stream at some point. I hope everyone's enjoying the live so, broadcast. We're, we're both like, I went to AX and I turned my PS4 on, and I just uh, put my put my boss in the back of a truck and <laughs> left. It's, yeah, I did not leave it on over the whole AX weekend. Oh, I, I left it on the whole. I was worried it was gonna get real fucking hot in my eyes. And once I figured out that. Um, that venting problem, yeah. it's been as silent as a fucking kitten. Silent as a mouse fart. Yep.
it's it's been it's been really nice. The so I've just been running it, man. And uh, I let you know what I gave it like last night and the day off. Like I turned my like, PS4 off. Yeah. And uh, and all that. Um, so just to kind of like give it some time because it's been on so long. That counts as one. Nah, uh, he is um, one. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't know how you take it down, but he definitely counts as one. Yeah. Uh. Well, yeah. let's let Dehan get to yeah. his thing, because I'm going to turn into a fucking pumpkin in one minute. I literally have to go, so yeah. what's uh, your right. question, uh, buddy? So, so, like, inspired with Metal Gear, uh, Metal Gear, Snake vs. Monkey, what's your favorite non-canonical Metal Gear game? Hmm. Does Rising count? Uh, I think Rising is uh, canon. Canon. I mean, like I love, I love, like Rising would be my pick too. But let let's say Rising doesn't count because it's like, like a big game, and most of the non canonical games are like, you know, uh, portable games and. Uh, I would oh like yeah, like so, Acid. Um, I did like the Acid game. Yeah. I thought they were great, but I would say my favorite. Uh, this one has a high patch. Uh, <laughs> it's boss. My favorite is. Uh, 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 Metal Gear Ghost Touch Whisper. was good. Uh, Ghost Babel? Yeah, on the Game Boy. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I oh shit. That. that was like such a good way of like yeah. bringing back an old game mechanic and like at, I don't even remember the story, I just remember playing it and enjoying it. So I would say that would be my favorite one, if not, um, was it Acid the card based one? Yeah, card based. Uh, yeah. Portable I'd, Ops. I'd say too. Portable Ops is probably my favorite, or Portable my Ops favorite. Plus. Yeah. Um, I would say I rank that as my favorite kind of like Metal Gear spinoff. So there you have it, bruh. Dehan, uh, thank you so much. I know we got to wrap up and I know it's a tight one hour show, uh, but I wanted to get, we have one day in between AX and RTX. I wanted to get uh, everyone up to date, especially because we missed the show last week, yeah. Brian, and I feel bad about having a bye week, but with regular work, side work, and gearing up for Mega 64 to head to AX, I just had to take that Wednesday. Yep. Uh, so, we will be back next Wednesday, same place, same time. It's too quiet. Actually, not the same time, because we went an hour early today. We'll be back to 7 p.m. Uh, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. So, I will see you lovely lovelies in Austin, Texas. Dehan, I'll see you online, bro. Yo. See you at Mother Base, brother. <laughs> Thanks, bye. Goodbye, sir. And thus, with a Konami noise, we die. We, I die. Uh, and Brian, I thank you for your help today. And uh, I think... Well, I hope my cousin's not here. Someone's opening the door. Uh, we sure do love you. We'll see you next time. That's it for today. We'll see you next Wednesday. Brian's going to finish catching these beasts. Thank you, Brian. I don't Brian. Know how to get that last one. You got it. You got it.